So hey, let's sing together this little light of mine. Ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Don't you go and blow it out. Don't you go and whip it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't you go and blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't you go and whip it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Gonna take my light around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna take my light around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna take my light around the world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good morning. My name is Mary Sulerud. I'm a staff member of the Diocese of Maryland and the Cathedral of the Incarnation. And I welcome you on this Sunday, July 26, 2020, to our child-centered worship from the cathedral. We've had our opening song, an opportunity to start our worship service with the, in the best way with praise. And now we begin with our acclamation. Let us love God with our hearts and our neighbors as ourselves. Let us love God with our minds and our neighbors as ourselves. Let us love God with our strength and our neighbors as ourselves. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus told his friends another parable. 
the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus liked to talk about who God is and how God rules in the world and in all of creation by telling stories. And today we hear one of his most famous stories, which is about the mustard seed. Now, if some of you are wondering what a mustard seed looks like, it is very, very tiny. So I had to put some on some tape on a cotton pad so that you could see how tiny mustard seeds are that we find in our grocery stores. We use them as seasoning um, and we grind them up and make mustard with them. And they are very tiny. The kind of seed that Jesus was talking about that is grown in Israel and in Palestine is even tinier. You can barely see it without a microscope. And when it grows, it grows even bigger than the mustard seeds that I have shown you. It grows into this big shrub, big bush. And then in many cases, it grows into a tree. And when you go to Israel, which I have done, you see it nearly everywhere. And yes, boys and girls, it is big enough for birds to make nests and to raise their young in those nests in a mustard tree, not just a shrub, a mustard tree. So why would Jesus talk about little things? Well, part of the reason he talked about little things is that we need to value them because when they grow up, they are so important, like the mustard seed, like you as children. When you grow up, you will be the leaders of this country. You will be the leaders of your schools. You will be the leaders of your city. You will do exciting and wonderful things regardless of what you do with your life and lead us into the future. So we value you as little people because you're going to grow up to be so important to how we all live. But that's not the only reason Jesus talked about little things. Jesus talked about little things because they need to be valued as they are today. You, children, are of great value just as you are, just who you are as little people. You are important to us just being who you are. You matter to your parents. You matter to your grandparents. You matter to your brothers and sisters. You matter to your friends. You matter to your teachers. You matter to me. You matter to the church just as you are. Why? Because little things and little people often show us something very important about God. They show us something about how God loves, not just things that are important or things that are big or people who are important or people who are big. God loves everyone. And when you are little, when you are small, you are a reminder that God loves you just as you are, just as who you are. Jesus told a story about the mustard seed. And it's a story about how much we matter, no matter what our age, how big or great or little we are. We all matter to God. And now it's time for our prayers. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Jesus.
Jesus. We are here, we are here, here for you. Jesus, we are here, Jesus, we are here, Jesus, we are here, we are here, here for you. Made alive in Christ and filled with the Holy Spirit, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of God's creation. And the response is, hear our prayer. Holy God, in the risen Jesus, you are with us always as your church. Help us to bring your love to all those we meet in any way. Loving God, hear our prayer. All people are your children. May the leaders of all nations bring justice and peace to the people of the world. Loving God, hear our prayer. You are always with us. Now we pray for all those who need your healing grace in their lives. And now I invite you to pray for all those who are sick or anyone you know who needs our prayers. Loving God, hear our prayer. Giver of love and mercy, we thank you for the gifts you give us each day. And now I invite you to pray for those things that you are grateful for. I am grateful for all things that are little. Loving God, hear our prayer. Eternal God, we remember all those whom we love, those who have formed us and those who are no longer with us. Please now pray for those who have died. Loving God, hear our prayer. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. We are here, here for you. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. We are here, here for you. And now let us say together the words that Jesus taught his friends. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you today and always. And at every meal, may you be fed with God's justice and peace, that you may do God's work in the world. Amen. And now let us sing our closing song.
in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.